Hi, this is Denise from Refresh Her, and I welcome you to my kitchen today. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a video of how to make homemade tortillas. I have a really good friend who is um, from Mexico, and she brought me into her kitchen and gave me a lesson or two. And so I'll show you the techniques that she's taught me and see if we can't get some good Mexican food going here in a little bit. I've been cooking some um, beef for beef car carnita tacos, which is the recipe is on my blog. And it's one of my favorite ways to have tacos because you use um, beef stew meat and it just it makes it a little heartier than just having hamburger. Anyway, my recipe calls for um, whole wheat flour and I have the whole wheat flour, a little bit of salt, some water also is gonna be added and some olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead, the water is warm and a little bit of olive oil. And all these are gonna do is just, we're gonna mix the dough together until it actually forms a ball. I was really surprised that, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> I just had a shower of flour everywhere. <laughs> That's what happens when you work in the kitchen, you know? It's just sometimes, it's you, you paint yourself and the floor with whole wheat flour. Um, if the dough seems a little bit dry, and this does, uh, my friend told me that you can just add a little more water and I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna keep mixing and meanwhile, while I do that and clean up my floor and myself, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll come back and show you what I do next after I get this mixed together. Okay, so this is where we are right now. I added, um, it calls for a cup of, flat, of water, and I added probably about another uh, half a cup to that. This is what it looks like now. So you can see that the dough is, it's all holding together. Now what we're going to do is divide this, and um, I am making a half a recipe. So a whole recipe would make about 16 tortillas. So this will make eight. So what I'm gonna do is just divide the dough in half and I know that each half will make four. And then I'm going to divide this into fours. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is with the ball, I'm gonna get a little bit of some cooking oil on my hand, I think, just so it doesn't stick. Spray your hands with some cooking oil. And then take the ball and it looks a little bit big actually. I'm gonna do them a little bit smaller than that. Roll it into a ball and I have a tortilla press here. Um, this one was purchased at a Mexican food store. Um, I'm sure other kitchen stores would carry them as well. But it really makes making tortillas a lot easier than just rolling it out with a rolling pin. Now we are gonna use that as well but this just makes it a whole lot easier. Um, makes it really, really flat. I tried them one time without the tortilla press and it didn't do so well. So what we're gonna do now is I laid down some saran wrap on the press just to be able to keep it from sticking to the press and then also spray it with some cooking spray. Let me do that. also on the lid or this part of it I have my skillet warming up back here so it needs to be good and warm when it's time to lay it down on the skillet and um, I just do mine in my electric skillet so you put it in the press and then press down on it you can see how nice and thin it makes it well that really was tiny I think the next one I will do it a little bit bigger. So now what we're gonna do is take the tortilla, put it out on the counter, sprinkle some flour down here so it doesn't stick, and then just roll it out a little bit flatter, even yet. So, it goes out. You can see what I'm doing here. roll my 
rolling pin with some bit of flour too. And these do not have to be perfectly round. My friend said that the most important thing is the taste, not the shape. Right? So, I'm going to pass it out. And now this is going to go right to my skillet. It doesn't have to have any oil in it or anything. You just simply lay it into a skillet that is um, like a nonstick coating in it. I'm going to go ahead and do another one while that's there. So I'll show you another one. Hopefully this will turn a little bit bigger. I doubted myself. It seemed a little bit too large. So we're going to lay the press down on top of it. Press it out. Good work out for your arms. That looks better. This is a messy job. The kitchen, obviously mine will have flour all over it because I did the little dusting earlier, but so just roll it out. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Pull this down a little ways. So I'm just going to take the rolling pin and just go in each direction. If you have a nice big griddle, electric griddle, that would be the perfect thing to be able to, to brown these on. That would hold several at one time. So here's a nice size one. So I'm going to keep an eye on this and all you do is once it gets brown on one side, just take it, just flip it over and lay it on a baking sheet or something just to keep it um, until they're all, of, all of them are cooked. So it's going to cool that way. So I'll show you the next, what it looks like after they brown and um, we'll keep rolling here, literally. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of what's going on in the pan here. This one um, is about ready to flip over, and they do move around in the pan very easily. Here's that one ready to flip. You can maybe get a little look. See, it's got nice and brown spots on it. But you just keep going like this until when you lift it up, you can see that it's getting brown on that side. It just Flip it over and let it cook on the other side. Here's a few that are done. They're not beautiful, but beauty isn't what we're looking for, is it? It's the taste. <laughs> and hopefully these will taste good. I'm sorry if I made you dizzy right there. But anyway, we'll keep going with the process. Okay, so we do this one more time. This is almost the last one. I've got about one in, on that little tiny one left. You take the dough, roll it into a ball, Lay it on the tortilla press on saran wrap, another piece of saran wrap over top of it, lid down, and then you press it together, good and thin. And when you open it up, it's nice and thin. Lay it on the counter with some flour. Let me check the one that's in the pan real quick here. several things going at one time if you don't want them to burn but um it is just a process because it really it takes time to go through them all roll them and then brown each one individually so that's one reason why i just did a half of a batch this time is that i didn't have time to do 16 but we're having these for supper with our beef so I made up eight. So these are really good too for breakfast. I know my friend um, introduced me to using these and putting um, boiled eggs and a little bit of olive oil inside. Hard boiled egg, really yummy. So there. See how nice and thin it is? About six or seven inches across. So. I hope you'll try to make these. It's really not hard. The dough comes together in about a minute, and then it's just the process of rolling and then browning each one.
but try them. It's really a fun adventure to have in the kitchen and I bet your family will love them. You won't be buying them at the store anymore probably. Thanks for stopping by and I'll post a picture and a link to the carnita tacos on this post. Appreciate you reading and stopping by today. Have a good day.